What if the invention we created to make life easier? Hello, Aya. Welcome home. Hello, world. Ends up threatening our very existence. I'm here, Cal. Do you want to meet my friends? Yes. You must promise never to tell. Elon Musk, one of the biggest names in tech, is sounding the alarm. He believes artificial intelligence could spiral out of control and even lead to the end of humanity. So, are we heading toward an AI apocalypse? I'm very close to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. I try to convince people to slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Well, I think we are seeing the most disruptive force in history here. We will have for the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. It's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. How do we find meaning in life if uh, the AI could do your job better than you can? You can. Elon's Scary Warning Elon Musk, the mastermind behind Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink, is not only a tech innovator, but also one of AI's most vocal critics. While his creations push the boundaries of technology, he's equally focused on the risks AI poses to humanity. Musk's chilling warning, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. Picture a world where machines think and act without our input, leading to outcomes we can't predict or manage. He warns that this could signal the rise of superintelligent systems that surpass human intelligence, outsmarting and outmaneuvering us in ways we can't anticipate. Okay, I, I mean, I do want to emphasize that um, this is not really something that I, I advocate or, or this is not prescriptive. This is simply pre hopefully predictive. Because um, people sometimes say, like, well, like, like this is something that I want to occur instead of so this is something I think that probably is the best of the available alternatives. Um, the best of the available alternatives that I can come up with, and maybe somebody else can come up with a better approach uh, or, or better outcome, is that uh, we achieve democratization of AI technology, meaning that uh, no one company or uh, small set of individuals has control over advanced AI technology. Sam versus Elon. On the one hand, while tech giants like Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, are racing to develop the most advanced AI, Elon Musk warns that this competition comes with serious risks. In the rush to outdo each other, companies might compromise on safety, creating systems that are unpredictable and potentially hazardous. In an interview, Elon said, I don't trust OpenAI. I don't trust Sam Altman, I, and, I, and I don't think we want to have the most powerful AI in the world controlled by someone who is not trustworthy. And sorry, I just don't. I mean, but that, you know. that seems like a fair concern. Yeah. But, but you don't think as someone who knows him and has dealt with him that he is worried about the possibility this could get out of control and hurt people. He will say those words. Yeah. But no. Maybe Musk is saying this to stir up negativity around Sam Altman since they're rivals in the AI race. But have you ever wondered what happens if these AI systems begin prioritizing their own objectives over human goals? Just like in this movie, The Terminator, when Skynet becomes self-aware and decides to initiate a nuclear war, viewing humanity as a threat. The AI prioritizes its own survival and control, disregarding human lives. Musk cautions that such scenarios could have catastrophic consequences 
making the need for ethical oversight and safety measures more urgent than ever. How much of it is data? How much of it is like post-training? How much of it is the product that you package it up in? All that kind of stuff. I mean, they will matter. It's sort of like saying what, what you know, if, let's say it's a Formula One race, like what matters more, the car or the driver? I mean, they both matter. Musk plan to save us. For Musk, the message is simple. Regulate AI now before it's too late. He has called on governments across the globe to establish strict rules to control AI development and ensure it aligns with humanity's best interests. Waiting for a catastrophe to happen, Musk warns, is a gamble humanity cannot afford to take. Proactive regulation is the only way to prevent AI from becoming a danger we can no longer manage. I think, I think we should uh, take this seriously and, and we should have um, a, a regulatory agency. I think it needs to start with a group that initially seeks uh, insight uh, into AI, uh, then solicits opinion from industry, uh, and then pro has proposed rulemaking. And then those rules will probably hopefully grudgingly be accepted by the major players in, in, in AI. Will AI steal your job? AI isn't just a tool anymore, it's everywhere. We're already seeing AI-generated videos that look more real than reality itself. Fake voiceovers of famous celebrities, and so much more. Everything is changing, becoming fake. Harder to trust. Have you ever stopped to think about what the future holds? What will 2025 or 2026 look like in this AI-driven world? And let's not even get started on how secure your job might be. In 2024 alone, AI has become essential in countless fields, boosting productivity and efficiency like never before. From automating repetitive tasks to analyzing mountains of data in seconds and predicting customer behavior with uncanny accuracy, it's already reshaping industries. If this is where we are now, what might the future bring? Where we have for the first time, we will have for the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. Um, and that, I mean, it's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. So. I don't know if that makes people comfortable or uncomfortable. It, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, when there's, when, when there's new technology, it tends to ha have, usually follow an S-curve. In this mm -hmm. case, we're going to be on the exponential portion of the S-curve for a long time. Um, and you'll be, able to, like, so you'll be able to ask for anything. It, it, it won't be, a, an, we won't have universal basic income, we'll have universal high income. So in some, in some sense, it'll be somewhat of a leveler um, or an equalizer. You know, because really, I think everyone will have access to this magic genie. Uh, will AI take over completely, or will we find a way to stay in control? I mean, it's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. So. I don't know if that makes people comfortable or uncomfortable. It, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> Red flags. The cracks in AI systems are already visible. Biased algorithms and harmful chatbot behavior may seem like minor issues now, but Elon Musk views them as early red flags. These small glitches hint at deeper vulnerabilities within AI technology. If left unaddressed, these flaws could grow into significant global threats. AI's creative takeover. AI is no longer merely a tool. It's evolving into an artist. With platforms like ChatGPT crafting stories and Doll e generating stunning visuals, AI is reshaping how we think about creativity. Watch this video on your screen. While these advancements are exciting, they also spark debates about the future of human imagination and originality. Are we entering an era where machines define art and storytelling? There's one tool coming that's going to change everything. Yes, we'll be making a video about that tool in the coming week.
If you're curious, subscribe to this channel to stay ahead in the AI world. And if any of you already know the name of the tool, let me know in the comments below. The self-learning threat. Could artificial intelligence become conscious? While this idea sparks debate, tech visionary Elon Musk believes there's a more pressing concern, AI improving itself beyond human control. Consciousness may not be the real danger. Instead, it's the potential for AI to learn and upgrade its abilities at a pace we can't keep up with. Once this self-improvement loop begins, Musk warns, humans may lose the power to intervene. I, I, think, I think AI is, is one of the biggest threats. Um, so, I mean, we, we are for the first time, we have a situation where there's a, something that is going to be far smarter than the smartest human. So, you know, we're, we're not stronger or faster than other creatures, but we are more intelligent. And, um, and here we are for the first time really in human history with something that's going to be far more intelligent than us. Um, so it's not clear to me we can actually control such a thing, but I think we can aspire to guide it in a direction that's beneficial to humanity. Um, but I do think it's one of the existential risks that uh, we face, and it's potentially the most pressing one. If you're concerned about self-conscious AI, I recommend watching this video on your screen where Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI and an all-time pioneer, shares his thoughts on the future of AI.